What's going on, everybody? We got a BGS submission back between me and somebody else. We just split a real small one. This was a 10-day submission, and it was submitted end of October, I mailed it out. I want to say October 20, like, 2nd, I think it was on the sheet. But this we just got it back, so pretty stoked to see the grades. I just got this, two in from Tops today. It was a big old mail day today. Figured I'd show this off. But this is a, the from Pops Chrome Black, Blue Bob. Uh, it's numbered 69, uh, 99. And I was going to mail it in onto PSA, but it's a thicker card. And when I was looking, I saw a little bit of whiting on this. And I was like, ah, a 9 would be nice to have, but I don't know if I want to do a 10 for the price. I might debate on it. I might still send it, but my luck is going to come back an 8. But anyhow, let's take a look at what Becca did for us. I already know the grades on this, so is the other gentleman. And I know he doesn't care if I show his cards offhand. All right, let me see how they did this on us here. Ah. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's the one thing I like. They should box inside a box when they do these. Oh, man. I am not going to get these out. These puppies are in here tight. But they do come FedEx. Wow. I can't even get my hand in this thing. I mean, they jam-packed this in there. Ooh. Now we got it coming. Pug was looking at me like, you are weak. I'm like, no, bud. I'm not weak. It's, they were in there tight. Alrighty. I'm going to take them out of the flimsy stuff, Brian, for us. Put them in the good stuff. All right, first up, Luca Emergent. Again, this I'll just say if anything's well, I think uh, the next two are mine. I forget how I did them on the sheet. But you did pretty well onto it. I think we discussed it, 10, 9, 5, 9, 5, 9 onto this. Pretty cool overall. Nice piece of Luca. You know, a lot of people starting back down from Luca right now, but hey, just put it in there, hang on it for a long time. And Brian, all this stuff goes out. It'll already be in the mail. I'm going to take pictures of it here. I probably shouldn't even put it in a case, but plastic on plastic yet. Uh, that's mine. That's mine. Oh. Oh. I was like, what the heck is in here? And I forget that's how they do their receipt things. This was the only nine in the whole group. Uh, he's a Pittsburgh Pirate fan, so NT, Josh Bell. Nine five nine five nine nine. Close. I think the auto was a nine two. But I think we said about it was close down. Yeah. So still not bad. Well, he sucks now, Brian. He's no longer a pirate. You guys, here, punk. She's back here. Decides to eat while I'm on camera. Don't know why she does it. Trying to irritate me. Brian, this is your last one. This here, I am envious, jealous, whatever you want to call of it. This is a beautiful card. From Flawless, this is the Sapphire, number three out of seven. This has Clemente, Stargell, and Honest Wagner, two bat relics, and the uh, hatch down here. And you just... You got three nine fives and a nine. Let me see if I can get focus back out. Thinking plastic on plastic here. There we go. Nine five nine nine five nine five. This is a beautiful piece, man. I I ain't gonna lie. Very very nice, sir. Again, I'm gonna mail all this stuff out to you tomorrow. Well, you'll probably already might even have it in the mail by the time I post this video up. I don't know what day it's going out. <laughs> Alright guys, now for my great accomplishments, which nothing is better than that Clemente in my opinion. I've got this off of a, a box from uh, Yankees 42, aka Magnus. It graded out well, 9.5. So 9.5, 9.5, overall 9.5. Auto's a 10. This was packed fresh. This thing was just sitting in there. It is now 299 Julio Jones. I'm, I'm sure you guys can see it out Crown Royal. But it was just sitting in this pack for, what is that, about 
nine years, maybe eight years, almost eight, eight and a half by the time I got to it. So really beautiful card. Actually, I'm not going to put this in here because I got to do pictures of these yet. But I'll tell you what, it's a thick case. <laughs> I was just looking because there's a sleeve that's inside there. Beckett actually puts her stuff on sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me pull it back some. But the sleeve, because of this, they don't like just leave it in there. It's actually curved up and over. Kind of cool. All right, guys. You guys probably remember this thing. I was scared to send this in. This is Joe Burrow. This was out of score when I bought them crazy boxes where you could pull, like, something out of 20. Well, we did Ohio State version, too. Did well with the centering 10. Well, oh, crud. There we go. 10, 9, 5, 9 on corners, 9, 5 surface. This is the only reason why I went to P uh, BGS over PSA. A little bit of white down there in the corner. I was hoping it overall would come back 9, 5, which it did. I'm super happy for it. Really stoked. So some nice cards back from Beckett. Like I said, timeline was not bad. So November, December, January, about three and a half months. So whatever that is in weeks and all that, plus you had Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and all that in there. So uh, congrats, Brian. Like I said, really nice uh, Clemente Wagner and Stargill piece there. And we don't have anything else out in Beckett, but... I'm about ready to cut this. I got to go to another video here because we got PSA water back in too. Again, thank you everybody for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you all for the next video.